What's going on Lego Maniacs? It's Ty the Lego Guy here and today we're going back to the Lone Ranger theme and we're taking a look at what in my opinion is the best carriage Legos ever put out. It's a perfect carriage. The model is the Stagecoach Ranger that set 79108. It had 279 pieces, five minifigs, came out in 2013 and it retailed for 30 US. Now nowadays the set's going for 75 new or 55 used. And I have to say, it's just a great set. I can't find a single flaw with it. It's flawless, but we're gonna get into exactly why I feel that way. It's just a really, really good model, but enough talk, let's get right into it. And to start us off, we're actually gonna take a look at, it's not really a smaller build. However, I thought we should give it a little bit Credit, and there's this awesome looking bandit on this horse. Really looks quite good. This is actually one of the newer horses that they improved on. I believe this was one of the first sets that actually included them. And the main difference is, is you can actually move their hips up and down. So you can kind of make it like, you know, the, uh, the horse is like jumping, which is pretty awesome. Do quite like that. He also has a nice dynamite stick. Although I still do like the printed, um, pieces a little bit more than the actual 3D looking dynamites, but all in all, very nice looking little horse. Let's now take a look at the stagecoach. And here she is. So very nice looking. What, what I'm gonna do is give you guys a 360 view of this. And as you guys can see, it's quite sizable. I mean, look at these horses. The horses don't are like quite small compared to the stagecoach. I do appreciate, however, that there's two of them because you need at least two to lug this thing around. It also has a very nice looking little sticker on the top. It said Stagecoach. So just go, good all in all job on Lego's part. Um, on the top, there's actually a safe. And we'll just take a little bit more of a look at that. Open her up and what's cool is they actually have a single silver piece. So if these bandits were looking for a lot of money, <laughs> they're gonna do all right, but not as great as they'd like to. I just think that's an awesome looking little built piece. The other cool thing that I really like about it, let's just start up the stagecoach from the front, okay? So the first thing that I really liked about this model is, check it out, it has reins. They've rarely, if ever, had reins on a stagecoach or a carriage, and as you can see, Tonto is kind of steering it. So great job, it also has some nice little lanterns on either side of the carriage in the front. So if they're at night, they can still kind of see. And then moving on, they have a nice little, the stagecoach kind of is like a jack of all trades, like it has a lot going on. So there's some letters in it. Nice looking little letter, letter printed piece. And it actually goes in this uh, little bag right here. So good job. Um, in the back here, before we actually get into the coach itself, it actually has a cool little feature. And what the feature is, Sorry about the noise, this thing loves to squeak. Um, you push this and it literally shoots out a little briefcase. So you could, I do believe that this one actually opens, yeah it does, but I don't know if I broke it or whatnot. I do believe I've actually broke the uh, little briefcase um, a while back. They are quite fragile pieces, so it's kind of a knock against Lego, however, Still cool that you can kind of fit the little briefcase in there. It's kind of like hiding. Now, getting into the meat of the model. This stagecoach is actually really quite spacious. So let's just give you guys a little bit closer look at it. You can easily fit like three, four minifigs in here. Now, what the big issue is um, going on with this little stagecoach is it's really hard to get the minifigs in or out. Like I have to, to get them out, it's not so hard, but to get them in and get them seated, you really have to struggle to do that. But what I'm gonna actually do is take the roof off and uh, show you guys the stagecoach a little bit closer. So you guys saw how hard I struggled to put the minifig in the uh, actual stagecoach. Well, Legos thought about that and they literally made it so that you could take the roof, roof off, no problem, and you can easily sit a minifig in there. In fact, let's just seat, seat two of them. So you guys kind of see what I'm doing. Very, very, just great job on Lego's part. This is just the perfect carriage. It's just phenomenal. 
And I also love the fact all the stickers on this, I, I mean, I'm, as much as I don't like stickers, I really love the detail. In fact, let's just show this off a little bit more. Hopefully you guys, guys can kind of see that sticker in the back. There's two of them just to kind of look like cushions. So just all in all, great looking carriage. I have nothing bad to say about it. It's exactly what you'd want a carriage to be. Um, but now what we're gonna do is take a look at the minifigs. Here we have the first three minifigs that are included in this set. So in the middle, we got the Lone Ranger. Far right, we got Tonto, and then we got Bandit. So first thing I wanted to mention is just very nice looking leg printing, torso printing on all of them. The unfortunate thing is the Lone Ranger literally comes in every single set in this theme, so you're literally gonna have a billion of these guys. However, I still quite like him. I love his coat, uh, his little badge, and I like the fact that he's kind of like Batman, kind of covering up his eyes so you don't know who he is. And then Tonto's fantastic. Actually, that's just to give you a little bit better view on Tonto. I really like the fact that there's a bird on his hairpiece and he's freaked out. He does have back face printing as well. And then right here, you guys can get a little bit better view of his torso, his leg printing. So just all in all, great looking minifigs. Let's now flip them around. Flip them around. Uh, Tonto does have back face printing, uh, like we were talking about. He um, actually has nice back torso printing as well and a lot of pain on his face. So a more complacent face and then a scared face. The other two minifigs don't have any back face printing, which makes sense because we would literally see it, which would look off since they're wearing cowboy hats. But yeah, all in all, great looking minifigs. I also really like their pistols. They're actually improved off of the um, Wild West cowboy themes pistols. They look a little bit more realistic and I thought that was kind of cool. The final piece that we'll actually take a look at from these first three uh, minifigs is he actually has a nice little chained watch or stopwatch, whatever you want to call it. And I do quite like that piece. I think it's really, really cool. But yeah, those are the first pit three minifigs. Uh, let's now take a look at the final two. Here we have the final two minifigs. So on the far right, we got the bandit. Nice looking bandit. Don't have too, too much to say about him, but I do think he's a good looking minifig. I like his vest as well. And then on the far left, we have Red Harrington. So, as you can see, she's obviously a lady of the night. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, I love the fact that she's scantilously showing her leggings as well. Great job. The other thing that's really cool about her is she has a nice looking hair piece and a hat. And what's interesting is they're actually two separate pieces. So, very creative. You rarely see that on Lego's part. The other thing that's really cool about her is let's just take off her hair piece now. Get a little bit better view of her torso. But what I really liked about her is she actually has a cloth piece that's supposed to represent her dress. So I thought that was awesome. Lego rarely does that. Nice back torso printing as well as the bandit. He has back torso printing and she has a scared face obviously as well. So just great job. Really, really do like the minifigs in this set. I think they knocked them out of the park. Um, now what we're gonna do is get into the end of the review and get my final thoughts. Well guys, that was my review. Do hope you enjoyed it. Honestly, this model has it all. Great minifigs, great carriage, some decent playability, and it's just a great all-in-all -all display piece or like a play set. It has it all. I really like this model. Again, it is the perfect, it's the perfect carriage. Like it's the right size that has two horses that are kind of like, you know, leading it so it can actually like go, right? Like, um, what do you say, it's horsepower, it has two horses. It's just a phenomenal set, it looks great. I don't think it's oversized. I love the fact that the roof comes off and you can access the minifigures a little bit, just a little bit better, because it's a nightmare if you try to do it the other way like we showed. It's just a great all in all model and I really, really do like it. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this set. Do you like it, do you not? Do you possibly own it? Any areas you think they could maybe improve on it? I just think it's a 10 out of 10. It's phenomenal. The only negative is you get so many Lone Rangers. Like, I think I have three Lone Rangers and I have three Lone Ranger sets. But it is called the Lone Ranger. It is what it is. That's not really a knock against the set. It's just, you get a million of them. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you today. But if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future uh, Lone Ranger, Wild West sets that we do on this channel. I love that theme and uh, yeah. It's just, it's one of the main reasons why I love Lego. 
But yeah, that's all I got for you again. But thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.